EWARS is WHO's early warning, alert and response system. So this is something which we need in emergencies to be able to quickly detect and respond to disease outbreaks. WHO respond to multiple emergencies every year. Uh, whether it's natural uh, disasters like uh, earthquakes, uh, tropical cyclones, tsunamis, or whether it's uh, conflict driven. In any emergency that there is a heightened risk for disease outbreaks. People have displaced from their original places and there's overcrowding and the usual systems that exist for water and sanitation, food and shelter have broken down, including uh, health facilities. EWARS in a Box is a kit of the essential equipment that we need to set up surveillance and response activities in, in the field and in very difficult and remote field settings. It's a kit, a field ready kit that contains uh, mobile phones which will carry the EWOS applications for data reporting and laptops that can be used for data visualization and analysis and the chargers, the battery chargers for the mobile phones as well as a small data server that can manage data. So we know most of the time uh, in these disasters, either the setting is remote or the systems have collapsed. So there might not be electricity, internet facilities to have a quick data transfer between health facilities and epidemiologists. So we have thought of this in our, uh, in our kit designing. For example, the, the reporting can happen offline, that there's no need to have internet connection, as well as there will be some situations where there might not be electricity in health facilities. That's why we have the chargers, which can provide electricity through solar power. It's a great need to detect outbreaks early and respond to them timely. One kit contains um, enough equipment to run surveillance in 50 health centres, which can cover around half a million people. And each kit costs $15,000, so it's quite an affordable solution. So we conduct trainings for other UN agencies and NGOs to help them set this up, collect the data, and also support them with the management and the analysis of the data. We can analyse the data very quickly, publish bulletins and mount a response if needed. WHO can't do this alone, so we need to work very closely with ministries of health and our partners in the field to be able to deploy and, and run this system. So WHO, Ministry of Health, our United Nations Health Partners and INGOs can respond quickly to, to prevent avoidable deaths and diseases. Since we began in uh, 2014, we have deployed DIVOS in a box in four emergency situations in Fiji, in South Sudan, uh, Ethiopia, and most recently in uh, northeast of Nigeria. For example, in Fiji, when tropical cyclone Winston uh, hit Fiji, we could rapidly deploy EWOS in a box to Fiji to cover almost all health facilities which were affected by the emergency, like we do in any other emergency that we trained uh, the local staff, these are the surveillance officers or health facility managers, those who manage uh, disease surveillance data, uh, and we have built uh, um, capacity in them so they can manage the system themselves. After several months of the disaster in Fiji, now we are at the stage that we will hand over the system to the Ministry of Health. If you want to see the trend of each disease. We've managed to scale up very rapidly in northeast Nigeria, for example, and in the last six weeks since the system was deployed, we're now covering 160 health facilities, getting regular weekly reports, and these are covering the vast majority of the 1.6 million people that we know are displaced in Borno State. And it's providing very useful evidence that we can use to guide the response. So we know from the data, for example, that over 50% of all cases and deaths is due to malaria. So this is useful information that we can use, for example, now to inform the mosquito net distribution.